I'm going to show you how to get National University of Singapore scholarship for PG or for master. For PG, you will receive two thousand dollar per month, Singaporean dollar. This is almost equal to Australian dollar or Canadian dollar. For master, you will receive one thousand five hundred dollar per month, but this is Singaporean dollar, not US dollar. And let's go to the original place here. Uh, this is the National University of Science of Singapore Research Scholarship in US, National University of uh, Singapore. Uh, this is under 20 in world ranking. Uh, there are two prestigious universities in Singapore. One is NTU and this is NUS. I think it is uh, maybe in 12th number uh, in the world or something. So look, look, look at the award here. If you are a Singapore citizen, so uh, you have a good uh, age here and uh, if you have Singapore permanent resident also, but we are international students. Mostly we are international here. So international India, Pakistan, every country without Singapore is international. <laughs> so for PhD, $2,000 per month and for master, it is $1,500 per dollar. But the advantage is here, uh, this is the monthly stipend every month you will receive this monthly you see monthly stipend as follow the second thing is tuition fee is on the university so this means you are not supposed to uh, pay the tuition fee right you can also get additional 5500 per month uh, if you pass some tests there yeah, so this means this is almost 2500 right um, and this is basically uh, 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 the scholarship the award period is basically it is I spent my four years in Malaysia and it is understood that uh, if you are doing research and if you are a PhD student so you must need to do something you must need to show performance academics and research performance so it is basically uh, for one year first and it is extend extended to further two three four years uh, based on your satisfactory progress so your supervisor your mentor has to write about you that I'm satisfied from her, her research and this should be renewed you see here this is so the maximum so the part two year for master the maximum period is two year for master and four year for PhD this is a very prestigious scholarship right now what do you need to do you need to be a student of uh, uh, National University of Singapore uh, or um, you just uh, receive the offer letter let's see the eligibility criteria the following have graduated mean if you have a bachelor degree uh, mean if you are going for master or if you're going for a PhD you must need to have a master degree right I uh, have been up for admission or already admitted a full-time graduate program in, at UNUS you see if you received admission at NUS already admitted or up for admission you see if you get up for letter so you can mention uh, that uh, you can mention that I, I would like to apply for uh, National University is, uh, of Singapore Research Scholarship. You see, is awarded to outstanding graduate students in research leading to higher degree in the university. The scholarship consists of monthly stipend plus a tuition fee subsidy. You see, both. Now, how I read here? Uh, if you go to the National University of Singapore website here, so you must need to go prospective students. Prospective means future students. So this is undergraduate, graduate, and non-graduating. You see, they're a good program. So if you look into this tab here, now I'm in NUS Research Scholarship. Before that, that is scholarship. Before that, graduate. Before the prospective students, home. Now we are at home here, for instance. This is prospective students. Go to graduate, go to scholarship, and you will see all about this information, okay? And if you are stuck there, how I get admission, this I mentioned many times, that you need to contact supervisor. So he or she will uh, offer you uh, an offer letter. So then you can start your admission process. That is the way uh, you can watch my videos, um, how to get uh, PhD admission or how to get master admission. So you must need to do things by yourself. Don't ask people that how I get admission in Singapore. You must need to write. You must need to write a good cover letter, a good uh, research proposal and you make a good professional CV so you need to write a proper and formal email to your supervisor and if you don't know how to find uh, supervisors uh, this is I made a lot of videos that uh, you can also find very easily 
So you just drop an email and you get a response. So there is a good, good scholarship in uh, Singapore. In the coming videos, I will make some other videos about how to get some other good scholarship. Thanks for watching.